What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today you will learn how to customize the look of your iPhone and I'll teach you some tips and tricks about the iOS customization. I will guide you step by step showing all the apps that you need in order to achieve the look that I'm sharing today and even more. So stay tuned until the end of the video because starting today your iPhone will be unique. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, starting now with the stock out of the box look and feel, we will spice a little bit by throwing a different wallpaper which will be the base for our theme. The first app that I recommend you and the guys to download it is the Wallpaper app. My app of choice is called Kyoto Wallpapers. I've been using this for years and there are plenty of cool wallpapers curated on a daily basis. I have saved few wallpapers that I like it and we will be using one of them today. But feel free to navigate and you may find something more in line with your taste. Let's start with this red one which we'll be using as part of our red theme. So to download, you need to click on that cloud icon at the bottom, then it will be saved in your photo library. Now let's go to the settings, so we can set the wallpaper using this new one that you just downloaded. Now the next application that you need to utilize to build your theme is the Color Widgets app. So when you open the app, you will see a few options at the bottom. So for now, let's go ahead and select Widgets. Let's create a Widgets from scratch. I will choose this one, which is very simple one. Once you open it, you will have the option to edit the widget. Then you'll be presented with a few options. You have the background color, the theme or font color, and also the font styles. So for this widget, I will keep the black background, but I will change the font color to red to match to our wallpaper. And let's set this as a new widget. All right, once this is done, we can now move on and add to the home screen. In order to add this new widget to the home screen, it's just press and hold on any empty area in the home screen until it triggers the jiggle mode. Then you need to click on plus and scroll down until we find the color widgets. Click on it and move it to the right. So let's select the middle one and click on add widget. So this is our first widget. The next app that we will use is called Widgetsmith. Once you open the app, you will be presented with a list of widgets if you have already created some, plus the option to add new widgets. Let's click on Add Small Widget. So let's take this one and change the style. Ok, let's say that for this one we want our in a written form. Good, then you need to save it. Now you see that our new widget appeared in the list, but you keep in mind the widget number, in this case it's the small number 4. Heads up to the home screen and enter in the jiggle mode again. You see that the widget smith appear at the top, if not you will need to scroll down like we did before earlier in the video when we added the previous widget. Select it and add widget. So what you see is that the first time when we are adding the widget, it will not come in the same style as we prepared before. This in case you have already other widgets in the application, but we're gonna fix that. Click and hold the widget, then select edit widget. Click here and you need to select the widget number equivalent to the widget that we just created, which in this case was the number 4. Now let's carry on and change the icons. Remember that first application color widget? We will use the same one to download the icon. Open it and at the bottom select icon. Then we presented with many options and styles. For our red theme, I will choose the black and red icons. Click on save pack. And once you do this, the icons will be saved in your photo library as images. Now what we need to do is to use the shortcuts app.
I have created few icons already. However, we will create new ones from the scratch. In order to create a new shortcut icon, you need to click on plus at the top. Then you need to click on add action and search for open app. You will see that the option open app will appear and you need to click on it. Once you do that, you need to choose the app that you want to create the icon for. In this case, I will create the icon for Twitter. Alright, so the next thing is to click at the top when you see these three dots. And then you need to click on Add to the home screen. Then you need to give it a name. I will call it Twitter. And here's the important part. Right beside the name, you need to click on it so you can select the app icon. Remember that we downloaded a bunch of icons that were saved to the photo library? If you did that correctly, then they will appear here. Let me find the Twitter icon and choose it. And then click Add. Don't forget to go back and give a name for the app shortcut by clicking Next at the top. Then give it a name and click it save. Now moving back to the home screen, you will see that the icon that you just created will be there. So let's remove the original Twitter icon and replace by the new one. Now we need to do the same process for every icon that we want to add. So guys, I will speed up this part of the process because it's just a repetition of the steps that I mentioned before. Alright, we are pretty much done. So the next widget that we will add is the calendar here on the right side. So let's open the widget smith again. But before creating a new widget, let me fix the color of the previous widget that we added before. At the bottom click on theme. Then click at the big button called customize theme. Then you can click on tint color and choose the color that you like. Then click on save at the top and click update widget only. At the top you need to click go back and click on save. Now let's carry on and add the last small widget. Then click on it and this one I want to add as a calendar. So to customize it you need to click on the theme at the bottom. Then click on Big Customized Widget button. Then again, same process as before, click on Tint to choose the color that you want to add. Then click on Save and select the option Apply to this widget only. Go back to the previous screen and click on Save it at the top. Now let's go back to the home screen. See here that the color of the widget is now matching to the red color that we selected before. Once the widget is there, we need to click and hold on it and select the option Edit Widget. Then select the widget number equivalent to the last one that we created, which is number 6 in this case. Now let me tidy up a little bit by reorganizing the widgets and moving the old icons away. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Now you know how to customize your iPhone by adding new wallpapers and widgets. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, 
give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one.